Hello there guys and welcome to Student Meals. In this episode I will show you how to make a classic French dish called Tartiflette. Usually this dish is made in the oven, but since our oven is super shite, we're going to make it in a pan, which is easier, faster and equally delicious. So I hope that you enjoy this episode. So what you'll need is roughly five potatoes. I've already cut them up into little blocks, as you can see. Not too big, not too small. You can always leave the skin on if you want. It's more of a personal choice. Roughly 200 grams of Reblochon cheese. This is the typical cheese used in this dish. If you're making this dish, I urge you to look for this specific cheese. But if you cannot find it, you can always try to replace it with some camembert, maybe brie, basically some creamy and easy meltable cheese. We've also cut this up into cubes so that it melts faster and also we've left on the skin because the skin is perfectly edible. Two medium sized onions finely chopped, 200 grams of baking blocks, here we have some medium sized chopped smoked bacon blocks from Hertha, we're not sponsored by Hertha but if you want to sponsor us please please do sponsor us. This is optional but we also like to add some sour cream because it adds to the creaminess of the dish. This is roughly two tablespoons, two cloves of garlic just because we love garlic, a splash of white wine. You can always leave this out but it definitely adds that much more flavor to your dish. And of course finally some pepper and some salt. We definitely need to start planning out these ingredient positioning things because this is a mess. All right. Let's do this. So first of all we're going to cook our potatoes. I've filled the pot with some cold butter. Now I'm going to put it on a fire. Season the water with a little bit of salt. Take your garlic and crush it. Oh yes. You can also crush it like a normal person with a knife and put it in there. The garlic adds a little bit of flavor to the potatoes so they're not too bland. And now let them cook until they're almost done. So while the potatoes are cooking, we're going to fry our bacon. Take a pan, put it on the fire, add in your bacon. There is no need to add extra oil because the bacon has a lot of fat on its own. And now just fry it until it's crispy. So as you can see, the bacon has released some fat. I'm just going to drain that in a separate bowl. I will use the bacon fat later to fry my onions in. And now just fry your bacon further. All right, as you can see, our bacon is almost done. I'm just going to turn up the fire and put the bacon in a separate bowl. I've removed some bacon bits that were still in the pan, but I didn't clean it out, so the fat is still in there. I'm just going to put it back on the fire, add in the bacon fat. Watch out, it can be quite vicious. Then add the onion and then fry it until it starts looking glazy. All right, as you can see, the onions are almost done. It's time to add the bacon back in the pan. Give it a nice stir. Now let's add a little splash of wine. Now let it cook for about a minute so that the alcohol evaporates a bit. Keep stirring throughout the process. In the meanwhile, my potatoes are done. I've drained the water and removed the garlic. Now add it to the pan and give everything a nice stir. Now let's season it with a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to season it with salt just yet. I'm going to leave that for the end. That way you can balance the seasoning of the salt really well. If you season it right now, you might just over salt the whole dish because the bacon is salty on its own. Then add in the sour cream, mix it all up so that the sour cream is everywhere. At this point, you can pretty much turn your fire down to low because you don't want anything burning. There you go, the sour cream is nicely distributed. Now it's time to add the Reblochon cheese. Just spread it around through the whole dish. There you go, make sure that your fire is on low and put a lid on it. By this point, you may already know we do not have a lid. So aluminum foil it is. Cover the whole thing and let the cheese melt. It'll take about 30 seconds or so just to keep your eye on it. <laughs> Roughly 30 seconds later as you can see all of the cheese is almost melted and now it's time to mix everything up. Oh, yeah. oh my god, it looks so good! Nice and creamy. Makes me think of every single Instagram post with food ever. Throw a bunch of cheese on that, it'll probably look good. <laughs> and there you go, look at this. Looks so creamy, cheesy delicious goodness that is tartiflette. 
if you're making this for dinner, then you probably have to make this once a month because otherwise he will die of a heart attack. <laughs> But if you're making this for dinner, the best way is just immediately to serve it up because you can only get this consistency while it's still warm. So that's a golden tip for you. And there you go. And there you have it. Plate it up on a nice plate or just eat it straight out of the pan. It doesn't really matter because it's super delicious and you cannot stay away from this. I almost forgot to tell you the last step is seasoning it with some salt, but I've tasted it and it tastes really good without it. So I'm not going to add any. All I can say is try it out. You will not regret it. Time for a test test. It looks so delicious. Oh my God. I was having trouble not trying it while Leo was making the pictures, so I really had to contain myself. So here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me just enjoy another bite, please. This is like the best comfort food Ever. The first time I ate this was on the Christmas market when it was really cold outside and uh, we just had this and it was really good. And then we were like, oh my God, we need to make this for student meals. We need to figure out how we can make this very easy, like not in the oven, but just in the pan. That just takes a couple of minutes. And we did it now and it's so good. I think it kind of tastes the same as the one we ate in the Christmas market. You taste like the wine as well for a bit, but not too much. The bacon, the onion, potatoes, and especially the cheese. It's just, oh my God, it's so delicious. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. We still post a video every single Wednesday for you to devour. If you haven't noticed that yet, ring the bell so you get an update every week. So thanks again for watching and as always, See you in the next one. Goodbye. Wow.